just open for questions. Let's go first. Coach. Did you lose the match in the first 10, 15 minutes? We had a lot of chances and maybe we could have put the match away. I, I don't think so. I mean, we created some chances in the end of the game also. So um, um, I think we we started the game the way we wanted. Obviously, you know, um, they got some uh, some luck on their side. Uh, but I think that as the game progresses, I think you know we um, uh, we scored a nice goal in the 22nd minute or 23rd minute, and uh, so uh, everything was going according to the plan. Coming in, uh, you know, why was that tactically? What did you see? Why, you know, why were they getting those those chances? Which on one? Thursday? Which ones? Uh, there were about three, and then the one they scored on. Probably. Yeah, a bit, uh, probably that. That was that was probably the, uh, the the most clear chance probably for them. You know, he got near post. I mean, uh, and that was a nice nice ball, ball from coming. So uh, uh, Eric was there, um, but that happened so fast. So uh, I mean, he got a foot on. So I mean, that was a nice play by them. Uh, whether could that be avoided? I think so, but uh, um, but uh, but well, we gave up, we gave up the goal. I mean, uh, the timing of that goal was also not the best. It was 83rd or 84th minute? Uh, I thought we were going to hang on to the lead, but uh, well, that, that's a game. What did you uh, tell the players coming into the 30-minute extra period and towards penalties? Uh, what was your game plan to try to? to score a goal or something, try to grind out to penalties? Or Just keep going the same way. I mean, uh, we had some tired legs. I mean, we, um, uh, so we, uh, we, uh, we didn't have any subs, subs left. So, uh, um, you know, trying to move the ball around and, you know, try to create the chances, which we, which we did. Scoboto, was it a cramp late in the game or something more? Or? Yeah, it was a cramp, yeah. Right, what was your decision on you took the penalty kick? Yeah, the defender in there, the pruner, and Carol's not a big goal scorer. What was the reasoning for putting the guys in that you did? Obviously, we practice the uh, penalty kicks uh, all week, so you know, um, whoever was shooting best, you know, we uh, we uh, was more confident um, that that we decided to go with. From just a big picture, what does this mean for this organization losing the first round two years in a row at home? I mean, you is this an end of an era for this team to expect changes next year based off of this? I think we won the game today, 2-1. Um, but, you know, obviously overall, um, because we lost the game in, in Colorado, that's that's the playoffs. But I think we won 2-1, yeah? Just uh, just the penalties. I mean, penalties, any, uh, you know, like as you know, you know, the um, sometimes, you know, better team is, is, is not going to win because, uh, because of the... Because you know, yeah, there's a lot of pressure to take a penalty. So uh, uh, obviously, you know, they they did uh, they did very well. They scored five. Uh, even we were very Andy was very close to save one or two. Um, and then that, that comes down to the penalties. But I think overall, as a as uh, as a team and uh, mm, as a game went on today, I think we created more chances and more clear chances than them. So um, we have to look at ourselves. I mean, that's, that's a positive. Uh, last year we lost both games in the playoffs. This year we won one, two one at home, and we lost in the penalties. But uh, I think that's, that, that's a step forward for us compared to last year. Not only we had more points than last year, but also we you know we were a little bit further, uh, in my mind, uh, uh, to um, uh, in this year. But obviously, you know, we're not going to the second round. I don't think it's a it's the end of a uh, uh, era because you know, as, as a team, we want to continue to win the games and we want to continue to be successful. So maybe we're not going to be, uh, as a personal, we're not going to have the same players. And it's every year. Whether we won a championship in 2008, whether we, last year there were some, some new players. And that's going to happen next year. I mean, that's, that's, that's how our how leagues operate. Um, every single club at, around the world operates the same way. You always want to get better. Coach Rosita, everyone's going to ask about Scalotto and his future. Do you want to wrap that discussion up? By a certain time, by January first, in December, when do you want to wrap that? Well, you know, today just uh, what we see. I mean, is a is a is a is a, a lot of things coming up, uh, and then uh, so we see how how it goes. I mean, everybody's uh, the future is uh, you know uh, we're gonna discuss and then uh, uh, and we're gonna let, let everyone know when the time comes. Harvey, have you said anything to uh, to Brian Carroll yet? Have you had a chance to talk to him? I mean, did you say anything coming off the field? 
Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a penalty. I mean, sometimes you, you take the penalty. The best players sometimes don't, don't, don't score. I mean, you have Maradona, you have uh, Platini, you have uh, all the big names. That at some point, sometimes they, 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 they don't score. And then uh, that happened today to Brian. Uh, but he, we're going to move on. I mean, uh, I'm sure you know he's. Uh, um, it's not the reason why we lost the game. I mean, he played well. I mean, he, he did uh, his very well all season. When you sit down and look at these two results in your heart, do you feel the better team moved on? Especially the better team at home, absolutely. Any other questions? Great. Thank you. Robert.